joining me. Uh, Anthony Bolton, President of Investments at Fidelity International. He was the legendary fund manager of the Fidelity Special Situations Fund, which was such a big outperformer since the early 1980s. And today he advises or oversees Fidelity's investment uh, group across the world and also mentors all of its young fund managers. Uh, Anthony, thanks very much. A pleasure having you with us today. But let me start by asking you that very basic question which I alluded to. But have we turned a corner in global markets with our powerful recent rally or is it too premature or too early to say that? I think it's a turning point. Um, obviously predicting the market is not easy but the three things that I particularly look at when I try and identify tops or bottom in the market. The first thing is the, the, the cycle how compared to previous cycles so how far have we fallen, how long have we fallen and the S&P, for instance, if March was the low, has fallen 57%, which makes it one of the deepest bear markets uh, over the last 100 years or so. So I think we've fallen enough. Then I look at sentiment and behavior, and uh, all the sentiment indicators indicate that people are very negative about the outlook, and uh, cash is high, etc. So I think the sentiment indicators in their negativeness are positive. And then thirdly, I look at valuations, and valuations to me were very attractive. So I think everything was in place for early March to be a low in the market. So you believe that uh, the low of 666 on the S&P will not be revisited, uh, let alone being breached in the course of the next year or two? Yeah, that, that is my belief. As I say, it, it's difficult to predict markets, but I think we're in a new bull market that has just started. Mm. So you don't agree with the hypothesis that this is a powerful bear market rally, that the bottom may not be retested, but we're still very much in a bear market. And within the confines of that bear market, you're striking out a powerful rally from deeply oversold ground. No, I don't. One of the reasons I don't is that uh, that seems to be very much the consensus. Uh, nearly all the broker research that I read suggests that it's a bear market rally. As I say, uh, I think it's the beginning of a new bull market. Mm. Even people who are talking about the possibility of a bull market or what started on the 9th of March are saying that this could be one of those cyclical bull markets, not a structural shift. And we could have a few quarters of an up move, but then the bad economic news will come to engulf it start in, in 2010. In your mind, have, has the structural bull market resumed itself after, after a one and a half year hiatus? I think it has. I mean, these things are very difficult, as I say, to predict. Um, but I think we're now in for a bull market that if it's like previous bull markets, I think will last several years. I think, though, we're in at some stage in the early stages of this bull market. I think we could get a powerful further move because there is uh, such a feeling of disbelief, as I say. So many people don't believe that it's a new bull market, and there is a lot of cash on the sidelines earning very low returns. And I think at some stage that money could come back into the market in quite a dramatic way. Mm. Uh, let me scratch that technical point a bit further. I mean, do you get the feeling today, I mean, not just reading the sell side research, but even when you talk to other fund managers that there is still that disbelief that a lot of people have actually not participated or been left out of this powerful rally? Definitely. And my um, feeling is that the, the negativeness about the market is, I, I haven't seen that uh, for a long time. I think I'd have to go back to the 1970s to see the sort of uh, general caution and concern that I see in, in many other investors. And that's one of the things that makes me optimistic. Mm. Do you think some of the cash has come back to work in the last few weeks or do you still see people sitting on very large cash positions, unusually large cash positions in the in global fund manager fraternity? Yes, obviously some of that cash has come back, but the data that I see suggests there's still very large amounts of cash. I mean, I'll give you one example. In the money market funds in America, typically re their relative size relative to the size of the stock market in the lows in the 1980s and 1990s 
and the last bear market. Their size was about 20 to 25 percent the size of the stock market. At the moment, uh, it's nearly 50 percent the size of the stock market. So I think that means there's a, there's a lot of money that uh, that could be invested. Do you have other measures of risk aversion which you can map? I mean, some look at the yen dollar. There are other parameters that some uh, analysts look at. Uh, do you have any uh, gauge or measure of whether risk aversion has waned a little bit after the rally or it still remains very, very high? I look at, I mean, I look at a number of things. I look at um, in investor sentiment indicators uh, that, uh, of advisory sentiment. Now, some of that has become more positive since the lows, but uh, in general, I still find that that is, is cautious. Then, as I say, I particularly look at cash positions in mutual funds, the amount of money in money funds. The, the average net exposure of hedge funds is, is another thing I look at, and that, again, is, is low relative to history.